Oh my god, I work in a movie theater. That is just insane. Um, so today is my first day as an usher by myself. The first shift I ever had here was as an usher in training, and um, now it's been a month since I worked here, and I'm supposed to usher by myself for the first time after doing concessions and prep and miscellaneous other things for uh, the interim of that month between the first shift and now. So that'll be exciting. Um, I know it's it sounds easy, just like, oh, you know, like sweep crap and, uh, you know, make sure things look clean and all that, but it's like, I don't really remember how to do some of the other miscellaneous tasks you have to do as an usher. Like, there's, um, uh, like checking the freestyle machine and seeing like, oh, is there high fructose corn syrup? Like, I know how to do it, but if I have to actually change it, then I don't know what to do. It's like, I know how to find out if I need to change it or not, but then as far as if I need to change it, I don't know. Uh, it's like the soda snakes, if you've ever worked in a restaurant, but like, um, <laughs> I wouldn't feel confident doing by myself. And then there's um, the changing the actual soda syrups or something. And it's it ha it reminded me of changing an ink cartridge because it's just like instead of like a cartridge, it's like a, a box in the size of a cartridge and you like load it and reload it the same way. But uh, I, I don't think I'd feel confident doing by myself either. So I guess it's a lot of nervous energy. And um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of this job. Um, the sort of goal of this vlog is to take you with me while I uh, do my job today. But uh, we'll see how much footage I get. I I still got to get this freaking vest on. So. Something about the text didn't seem right. It seemed very blurry, like downscaled. The picture quality kind of looked like that briefly, but I couldn't tell because I don't know the cinematography of Expendables. And second, you know, how would I change a movie's projection and definition with 30 minutes to go, you know? This one was left out way more, but listen to this. This is a C in a screen that was showing the nun too. I would love for it to have been a really quiet, dramatic moment, and you hear that seat, and it sounds like someone's farting. This isn't staged. Like how? Yeah, not sure if that movie was supposed to be letterboxed or not. And it's just like, I don't know what to say. Is it, is it supposed to be? I mean, it's... It's like some pixels are off-center or something. No one for none, too, but when I walked in here a few times, there was like one little white speck on the screen that was really bothering me. I want to see a magic trick. The haunting in Venice crowd, man. It's it's crazy, the kind of stuff they, they leave behind. Though, honestly, I don't mind because that makes my job seem more important like now i'll have more to do anyway i heard that our founder might be coming today that's oddly interesting what's funny though is that i didn't even know his name when i was told who was coming i was like i i don't believe i'm familiar with them and they're like oh you know this person I'm like oh yeah yeah of course i know Like, see, I'm not crazy. Those credits looked a lot more crystal clear, like, legible, and I could read them clearly. Popcorn. I am inside an auditorium. Granted, it is a quiet auditorium, but I can still hear that freaking self-playing piano. 
it never stops playing Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, well, it has other songs I've heard. Don't Stop Me Now, I've heard All Star, I heard the Mario theme. But Bohemian Rhapsody, man. Can you hear the Billie Eilish song too? <gasps> Is Camp Hideout a real movie? Oh yeah, and apparently I'm not insane for thinking that the picture quality on the biggest screen looks off. It is off, because I think one of the two projectors is running like 20 degrees hotter than it should, and somehow that creates a butterfly effect in which the whole picture looks blurry. It is a wonder though, how come that didn't get fixed and or why nobody told me. Because we, we as a business and I as a person matter so much, I guess. And I haven't seen this founder guy around, but imagine if he walked in, looked in at his biggest screen and saw it was blurry, he'd be pissed. Now that would be a reaction to make my day. This is the break room. The haunting in Venice crowd, man, I, I can't tell you what it is that gets them so darn excited that they just love to pig out, eat food, and then leave. Though there were people talking about the mystery. So, you know, whatever's keeping the magic and discussion of an art form known as cinema alive. All right, five minutes till my shift is over and um, I'm calling that done. Wow, that was not even angled whatsoever. Ah, and that's a fucking day at the fucking movie theater. <laughs> I might have to bleep that out. So yeah, you know, tiring, you walk up a lot of stairs, you walk down a lot of aisles, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I'm ready to leave now, oh my god. It's just, it's monotonous, it's... And, um, I gotta do Food Runner on Saturday, and I've never done Food Runner for an entire shift. I've only done it, like, maybe no more than, like, five times total, so we'll see how that goes. Ah, uh, let's, let's... Let's let's go home and <laughs> I don't know go to sleep. <laughs>